the Bigfoot has always been seen as a frightening but timid creature that scampers around the forest and is rarely seen by anyone. The legend of the Bigfoot goes back to pre-Columbian times when Native American tribes told stories of wild men who lived in the forests of North America. At that time, the creature had several different names, including Sasquatch in British Columbia, which would later become the modern word Sasquatch that is still used throughout the world today. You can find reports of strange and mysterious hominids around the world, not just in North America, and not just the Bigfoot. There are a number of mysteries such as the Yeti or the abominable snowman that supposedly lives in the Himalayas, or the souls that supposedly haunt the peaks of Central Asia. It was not until the late 1950s, around 1958, that America really consolidated the Bigfoot legend in its history books and public consciousness. According to Fox News reports, Robin Lynn Pfeiffer of Newigo County, Michigan, United States, is supplied with blueberry muffins from the local store, but not to eat them. These treats are not for your own family of five. Instead, he plans to distribute them to the mysterious furry creatures that supposedly live in the woods and that surround their rural home. Apparently, Pfeiffer shares the land and lives in harmony with a Bigfoot family and they are not as scary as many people think they are. Gentle enough to get used to humans, according to Pfeiffer, she and her family have lived together with the Bigfoot family for years, offering sweets and relaxing regularly. The forests that surround your house are the home of the wild family and it is where they meet often. It is unclear if the creatures approach their home or not, but what is clear is that they could be interpreted as friends. This is the first case in which the sighting has not been an unstable photograph in a low-resolution camera. Could here be the proof that everyone has been looking for? Could the Bigfoot legend be real?